And tonight's big story, a state senator files an amendment to Nebraska's proposed Heartbeat Act, which would limit abortions at 12 weeks instead of six. Good evening, I'm Rob McCartney. I'm Quinicia Fraser. The amendment was filed by a senator from Ralston who says the six-week ban on abortions is too restrictive for most cases. KETV Newswatch 7's Alex McClune joins us live with more. Alex? More than two dozen senators signed on to Nebraska's Heartbeat Act earlier this year, including Merv Reapy of Ralston. He says he's since thought about how women know little about their pregnancies at six weeks. My concern with the six week is by the time a woman who may or may not have regular menstrual cycles, she may or may not know whether she's pregnant at six weeks. Concerned about pregnant people, Senator Merv Reapy's amendment means Senator Joni Albright's heartbeat bill banning abortions at six weeks is losing a vote for cloture. We've come this far, you know, had it not been for some illnesses on the floor, this bill would have already been debated and and it should be going to select by now. Democratic Senator Megan Hunt put the unicameral on notice Wednesday about Reapy's amendment. My reading of the amendment, it doesn't have an exception for rape or incest, um, but I have to, I just started reading it, so we'll see what's going on with that. And the second one that I have a concern is, if it's in the loophole that says if it's a rape, I don't want them in a consensual relationship in order to get the abortion. They claim that it was a rape and the male in here then may face some criminal charges. Standing between a proposed six week ban and current 20 week ban, Reapy finds himself in the middle of an extreme issue. I'm certainly not a hero out of this. I've lightly said that I'm gonna go out and get a dog so I at least have one friend. The senator says 12 weeks is a more reasonable approach. We also talked to him right before he met with the Coalition of Catholics earlier today. He says it's his intent to get the amendment to the second round of debate, which could start at the end of the month.